Alright, so now these sound files are being manipulated. Attempted to make just a song with the dub on the end. What they do is we just saved one. Place the clip, it starts over from the beginning. So this is happening in real time. That's the same dub. Now it's not going to flow. It starts over from the beginning. So let's see if we backspace this. Let's see what happens. Nothing. So let's try it again. I'm gonna go ahead and put the dub in. Oops. There's the dub. Saved everything. Huh. Well, let's try it again. Huh. 
that's saving a file because this is on the end. Now look at these. These have been disappeared as well. So let's keep track of that. Let's try it again. So, now that we're recording it, the computer's freed up.
take this video because it's being freed up at the moment. So most likely it's going to go through. It seems that these people know what we're doing. So that's why it's super fast and nobody's messing around. Um, they know it's being recorded. So we're experiencing some infiltration at the moment. I'm just doing a monkey video to show some of the infiltration that was done last week. Ross is still offering a thousand dollars to anyone who can assist in identifying you. A thousand dollars cash money if you could tell me who's behind this computer. So basically, you know, they ping it. They they come in. They've got multiple computers uh, the future is said to be run by the ones that have the most computers uh, they can go in and they can put out a video on YouTube for example and they can get a million something views because they got a million something computers that's how most of those people get their views and then they pay like the radio or the television to, to tell everybody this is how it works. This computer's basically frozen up 37%. This is a 10 minute video. You know, if people say, man, you're slow. Um, there's a reason for that. Um, when you go to save a video that's an hour long, it takes sometimes seven hours. And then in the end, what they do is they corrupt it anyway. So even after you're done working on something for a couple weeks, let's say, they'll come in and they'll screw up the visual or the audio. It's pretty simple. You could think about an artist or an actor, actress. You know, if every time they go to, let's say, sing a song, somebody you know chimes a bell eventually they're gonna get frustrated you know if they have to keep singing the song over and over and then the song probably won't come out so good um, if somebody's directing a movie let's say and every time they go to shoot a scene you know a bird flies by and poops on their head the actor's head let's say it might be funny at first, but if that keeps happening, um, eventually the director and those involved will probably go home. So as we move into the future and people rely more and more on these devices, you know, we're more and more vulnerable to the hands of whoever may be infiltrating them, the monkeys. Reading an article on the AI, the second beast, um, there was this talk from one of the the innovators that you know the future is going to be something where five-year-old, a blind five-year-old, will be manipulating you know behind the scenes. You know, and it's supposed to sound like, well, this is good. It's going to give all the opportunity to those who need it, even a blind person, child. Um, at the same time, the person's telling you how we need to watch out because artificial intelligence can get ahead of us as humans, right? But if a blind five-year-old's behind the scenes running the thing, then how is it getting ahead? of humans so these people can't get this story straight basically what it what this comes down to is they're watching you so this jamming is most likely done by artificial intelligence which is just the millions of computers they when I say they there's some engineers behind the scenes 
if you trace the money trail you'll probably end up at the rat child's door uh, but these engineers are, codificate, are doing what they call codification uh, they're classifying individuals using a numerical sequence we've discussed this for many years on both the Ross uh, reports, Ross uh, reaps and eyewitness accounts um, eyewitness being a newer account uh, but uh, totaling years uh, between the accounts and this numerical sequence now is used as an identification aid to then follow people. Um, the, the, the artificial intelligence, it's, it's, we've talked about this, it's, it's AI. It's AI ball. And it works like an eyeball. It is the second piece of Revelation 13. And we know man is attempting to be like the most eye and so when people think of the most eye they think of the omniscient one the one that knows and sees all well that's what they choose now to to mimic because the devil is the great imitator so if they're able to watch all these activities and it's not you know everything at the moment but what's being done with these devices now as people use these devices more and more they're putting them on their body the National Geographic was preparing people for the microchip um, in their latest issue this is now recording more and more data about people and if you object to your information being taken because you have thought about it, well, then you become more of a target. Why doesn't he want his information taken? He must have something to hide. So, like, even, like, just having a phone, not having a phone, when people ask you, like the police say, what's your phone number? You say, well, I don't have one. They don't believe you. They don't believe you. Um, if you told them, you know, all that stuff on those phones is being monitored and recorded, they'd be like, so what oh you what do you got to hide you know what I'm saying so it's almost seems like you can't win you can't you seems like you can't win because how are you supposed to communicate with people in the future you know like Ross refused to get a phone and on a personal note his mother was in the hospice and then she had begged you know, or she, I knew that she wanted to talk to me, you know, before she was gone. So, you know, we made some arrangements to have a device temporarily so we could talk to our mother before she was gone. And we did for a few weeks anyway, probably not even a month. But, like, it's real serious. Like, when you know how these devices are being used and you realize what this is a part of, something evil, even prophesized in Revelation, then how should you participate? Because this is the devil's feeding program. This is what how the beast gains power by obtaining this information 
it gives it legitimacy when people don't object that's why Ross says we reap what others sow because in this you know, so-called system of democracy when others decide we'll take the microchip and you don't now you're suspect if you go to jail or something and you're fasting people think you must have done something really wrong because you're not going to eat there's this major disconnect that these mortal creatures could not comprehend spiritual existence As I say, be not dismayed, for there shall be a judgment day. Let me show you what it's like when the computer's not being jammed. Basically, we just added a small bit on the end. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. The monkeys are not at the moment jamming the computer. It's operating normally. This is how fast the video should be saving. Remember the video that we had just saved for this report? It took however so long was only 10 minutes this video is 22 plus minutes it's the same video as the other plus an extension and if you can't see 